my name is Martin Korshe. I'm an associate professor at the Department of Network and Data Science at the Central European University and also the director of the new master program in social data science and a researcher at the Rheini Institute of Mathematics in Budapest. My team is focusing on three aspects of complex systems. On the fundamental side, we are working on temporal networks, which is modeling how people, for example, interact or move in space. In another aspect, we are studying socioeconomic networks to see how socioeconomic status of people determine their interaction patterns, mobility patterns, behavior patterns, to see how they segregate in the network. And finally, we are also working on epidemic modeling, try to understand how epidemics is clustering within geometric networks. In one project, we are studying network segregation patterns in Sierra Leone, where we follow the communication and mobility of 1.3 million people and try to understand how wealthier or poorer people are interacting or mixing with each other in the country. And also we follow up how the segregation is changing as a function of time dynamically during intervention periods of the COVID-19 pandemic. Within this project, we are closely working with UNICEF and DSTI, which is a governmental body in Sierra Leone, to help them to provide them intelligence or knowledge about segregation patterns in the country, that they can actually design better intervention strategies during emergency situations. Since a couple of decades, we are living in a digital society where myriads of data records are collected about us. This data can be used to make our life more comfortable, but at the same time they are actually inducing a lot of challenges and dangers. They can be also used for scientific research. My goal with participating in the movement of digital humanism to use these huge, enormous data sets about human behavior to understand better people's interactions, people's movement, people's constraints on an everyday level and use this data for scientific understanding and later on for policymaking.